two angles coincide, it's a mathematical event. But for some reason, people don't believe that when two events coincide or two people coincide, that it's not a mathematical event. I do. Think about what you want every day. You're gonna get it. But they don't think about what they want. I think about what I want. In fact, I used to hate taking the trash out. I infused purpose and passion into taking the trash out. It was like bad karma to me. If there was liquid in it, it'd spill on me, glass in it, it'd cut me, I'd spill all over until I decided I'm gonna take the trash out and think what I want. My energy changed about trash. I started wanting more time. Think about what you want, why? Because you start with nothing, nothing. The minute you think about what you want, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Everybody get the mathematical advantage there? Zero to a possibility? That's a mathematical delta. You gotta think what you want. Now here's the cooler thing. When you become inspired about what you want, when you're passionate about it, when you have some inspiration and you pass it through your values and you get clarity, balance, and focus on what you want and get confident about it, that's where inspiration comes from. You know your why, right? So now you have a what and a why I want it. Man, I wanna be rich. Why? I want to buy my mom a house. Right? I have a what and a why. Here's the mathematical advantage when you can be inspired. Your possibility is mathematically improved to a probability. Mathematical coincidences, right? Two angles coincide. It's a mathematical event. But for some reason, people don't believe that when, you know, two events coincide or two people coincide, that it's not a mathematical event. I do. And so I utilize my power of focus to pay attention to something, which I know draws from a field of intention that holds everything that I want, and the answer is right there, and it's just a matter of so many days, but you have to do it every day. If you wanna be lucky, you have to focus in on or pay attention to what you want. Then you have to use the conscious continuum. What does that mean? You have to think what you want, say what you want, do what you want, hear what you want, write what you want, see what you want, believe what you want, all of these different things. And if you aggregate what you're focused in on, if you look at what you're focused in on, pay attention to it and give that intention of thinking, saying, doing, believing, smelling, hearing, touching, all the things that you want, guess what? The coincidences occur. The luck of what you want appears.